Dweebcast. Yeah! <laughs> What's up, guys? Andy Reese, my hair. Welcome back to Dweebcast. So, Monday marked the 25th anniversary of the first Game Boy ever sold. But we wondered how the world would be different if Nintendo's half brick of Road Trip Rescue had never been invented. Would handheld gaming still have blown up? Would Pokemon even exist? Would I have passed second grade the first time around? Do you play that much Game Boy? Yeah, no, maybe. So let's explore the painful potential of what could have been if this widely adored Nintendo Time Suck never was. Plenty of Game Boy wannabes tried to compete in the mini console war, but which of those thumb busters would have taken Game Boy's spot on the throne? Would it have been the Atari Lynx? When you think about it, the sideways, slightly overweight Game Boy had way more to offer color screen with 16-bit graphics compared to the Game Boy's flattened 8-bit graphics. It even had an 18-player LAN party potential, but not even that many people bought the Lynx, so... Plus, the Lynx cost nearly twice as much as the Game Boy and required six AA bats. Not good for the environment. Maybe instead of the Game Boy, it would have been the Sega Game Gear. But probably not, because it came out after the Lynx and was basically the same thing, but had Sonic. Also needed six double A's. It treated them like vampires treat neck fat. But damn, was the color screen sexy. Sure, the first version of Tetris was released in arcades and on home computer systems in 1984, but it didn't explode until it came included with the Game Boy in 1989. I would make the argument that Tetris is the reason Game Boy blew up at all. Even though there were other technologically superior handheld systems like the Lynx and the Game Gear, Game Boy won because it had the game. Kinda weird to think that Tetris almost became a footnote in gaming history. Instead, it went on to sell over 30 million copies, beating out the second best selling game on the console by nearly 7 million units. Come to think of it, without Game Boy, that second best selling game might not have happened either. You know what that game was? What? That's right, Pokemon might not have even been a thing if it weren't for Game Boy. It was in 1996 when Nintendo started the Pokemon phenomenon. I'm sorry, what? Pokemon. Thank you! The offbeat pocket monster Collectin' RPG came out in 1996 and saw immediate commercial success, with Pokemon Red and Blue selling over 23 million units to date. But without Game Boy, Pokemon would have been Poke Gone, son! Ah. Nope. I've been waiting to use that one all week. Fortunately for the environment, Game Boy only used four batteries as opposed to every other handheld system, which used six. If Game Boy had lost the handheld console war, we would have witnessed an increase in battery pollution across the world. So all you environmentalists out there better send Nintendo a thank you card for their efforts to save Mother Earth. Or just keep talking down to others about clean air, then hop in your 93 Ford Explorer. I remember this. They said it wasn't humanly possible, but now you can have all the power and excitement of Nintendo right in the palm of your hand. This delightfully 80s commercial touted the features of that little mobile game box that could. And I mean, that guy. I know we could have lived without it, but would you really want to? That's it for the show today. I hope you're celebrating the Game Boy's 25th birthday in your own special way. Oh god, can you think of any other scenarios that could have happened if the Game Boy never came out? Comment below, tweet us at Dweebcast. I'm Andy Reesmeyer, we'll see you next time! Yeah. Woohoo!